Emotional return two weeks after a teenager opened fire at a St. Mary's County High School. Students are back in class. It happened at Great Mills High when a student shot two others. A 16 year old girl who later died, and a 14 year old boy who is now recovering. The gunman shot and killed himself. WJZ investigator Mike Hugrin is live at the campus with reaction from students. Mike? Mary, some students were nervous about coming back to class today. Still, the sheriff provided a visible and increased security presence here today. I don't feel that safe, but still, got to come to school, I guess. For Great Mills High School freshman Emer Morales, going back to the campus where just two weeks ago, a fellow classmate brought a gun and shot his friend, 14 year old Desmond Barnes, was tough. Yeah, it's kind of hard to still come to school because we're like, Still kind of scared that something like that could like happen again. People in the community put up flags on the road in front of the school to comfort students. Honestly, it's kind of nice to see like the community showing support for everybody up in schools and everything like that. I very much appreciate all of that. I'm sorry, I'm getting all emotional because it's just. I I can't, I mean, I can't even drive past the school without bursting into tears. And, Susie and Copeland's son plays football with Desmond. He had English class with 16 year old Jalen Willie, the shooter's ex girlfriend, who died and was buried last week. Now my child's always going to go to school looking over his shoulder to make sure nobody's got a gun. And that's not something he should have to go through. This mother is still haunted by the 911 calls of Desmond and his teacher. I was just shot at my school. I'm sorry. I was just shot at my school. The girl outside, all I could see was like a pool of blood. There was a girl lying in a pool of pool of blood under her head. I mean, that just you, you just don't do things I can't unhear, and I'll never be able to unhear again. Back to class in a community that's struggling to get back to normal. It was kind of quiet, more than usual. But like later on in the day, everybody started like opening back up and everything, and it was like a normal day, you know. In addition to providing counselors here today, the school brought in therapy dogs to make students feel better. Live at Great Mills High, Mike Helgren, WJZ.